put the other arm in that sleeve. There you go. These elbows are far too big, Frank. Yeah, I know, but you need something to cover your clothes up if you're going to help me decorate the flat. And we haven't got any overalls in your size. I suppose so. Imagine your dad's face if you go home covered in paint. <laughs> but what about covering my head? Well, we're not doing the ceiling, are we? So your head's going to be OK. How are you all getting on? Oh, let me give you a hand, Sharon. Look how long these legs are. Mm, they are a bit long, aren't they? You might trip up on those. Tell you what, sit down here and I'll roll them up for you. There we are. Now, at least you won't fall over now. Right, let's check and see if we've got everything we need, Nicky. We'll need wallpaper, won't we, Frank? Yep. How many rolls? Four. One, two, three, four. Right, and three large tins of white gloss paint and one small tin. One, two, three large and one small. That's right, and we've got brushes, gloves, towel and dust sheets to cover the floor and furniture. Right, you take the wallpaper. I'll take the paint then. Okay. I'll take the dust sheets. Fine, and I'll bring the rest. <coughs> cool, these paint cans are really heavy. Car, where are you all off to? We're going to decorate the Simpsons flat. They've just moved out. That's the top of that block there. That's right. I wish I could come, but I have to go to the post office for me mum. That's all right. You can come along later and tell us if we put the wallpaper on the right way round. <laughs> I'll do that. The hardest job of all. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Hey, Frank. Wait a minute. What's in that parcel of yours? My mum didn't have time to tell me. It doesn't make any sound. It doesn't feel very heavy. It might be hollow. It looks the same shape as this wallpaper. Maybe it's paper of some kind, all rolled up. Well, all I know is for me little cousin. Look, my mum said it was after that at the post office, so I'd better get going. All, all right, right, see you then. Bye. It's a poster. Hold on. That's a poster. <laughs> That's a long climb. Yeah, a lot of steps. Ooh. We was guessing what Bradley had in his parcel. Hey, hey there's another parcel. <clears throat> Wonder what's inside. I bet Frank knows what it is. Guess. There's a <laughs> hole in my bucket. There lies a, there lies a. Right, Nicky? Right, Sharon. Right, let me have the bucket. I'll go and get some water. Right, I'll help you with these dust sheets. And then I must be getting on with things. But we'll have to move the table first. Right, let's do that now. Just in time. I'll take this corner here. There we are. Right, spread it out. There. That's it. No furniture showing. <laughs> right, let's move the table back now then. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Right, I must be going. Have fun. <laughs> right, thank you. See you later. What are we going to do now, Frank? We're going to strip some wallpaper off. But first, we've got to put plenty of water on to soften it up, because... It makes it easier to pull it off. That's right. Here you go. You put some on there. 
Plenty on there. Get it nice and soft. That's it. Slosh it on. Right, now have a go. Hey, it works! It's not fair, it's my turn. Oh, there's plenty of wallpaper to strip off. Hey, there's another layer underneath. It's a bit dirty. Well, wallpaper is one way of covering up a bit of dirt. Now, I'm going to dust off the top of the wardrobe. Oh, I bet there's a lot of dust up there. Where does all the dust come <laughs> from? <coughs> oh, there's dust everywhere. <coughs> On my head. And your eyebrows. <laughs> and your nose. Oh. What you need, Frank, is a dust hat. Watch it, Sharon. My ears wet. Oh, sorry, Nicky. I didn't mean it. Honest. Oh, be careful, Sharon. Now, you need a head cover to stop your hair getting wet. Any ideas for head covers? Imagine being out one day in the pouring rain. No Mac or Hood or anything. Let's draw a little girl. She's got no Mac or Hood. The rain's coming down in great big drops. Got to find a head cover to stop her hair getting wet. You haven't got a hat with you. What could you cover your head with? It's got to be waterproof. It mustn't let the rain through. A drawing. A drawing or... She could have a drawing with her, so we could use that. There, that's it. Oh, no. Brr, brr. Ow, I'm getting wet. A drawing's no good. It's not waterproof. I'll have to think about this. So what else could you cover your head with that wouldn't let water through? And you haven't got a hat with you. you can't use a hat or an umbrella. What could you use? A saucepan. What's it made from? Metal. Metal. Would the saucepan protect you from the rain? Yes. Why is that? Because it's waterproof. I'm not getting wet now. The saucepan's great. It's waterproof. Oh, something else to think about. There's nothing like a knotted handkerchief. I like your head covers too. I bet my head cover would be the best thing to protect me against water. Yeah, well, towel's good. I mean, it's thicker than paper and the handkerchief, so it soaks up more water. But... It's not waterproof. Right. Bet you it is. Let's try it. That's the best thing. Okay. Nothing comes through. I knew it wasn't waterproof. Well, when you're stripping wallpaper, you only get bits of water on your head. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Now, let's get on with some work. Do some painting now, Frank. All right, but uh, you'll have to wear these. I'm not scrubbing paint off your hands. I can't work in these. They're much too big. I'm sorry, Sunbeam. No gloves, no painting. You haven't finished yet, have you? No, uh, but we've run out of overalls. You've got to have something to cover your clothes up. Oh. Here's a dust sheet. It'll look a bit funny, but... Yeah, well, it might work. Come on, let's try it. You stand there. There we are. And what I'll do is I'll put this bit round your shoulders. Like that. There we go. <laughs> Smells like being in the barber. <laughs> well, I'm not going to cut your hair. Mm -hmm. Just as well. <laughs> there you go. Now then, stripping the wall or painting? Stripping the wall any day. Right. Start over here. Great fun. Can't wait! A 
A smooth orange covering right in front of me If I look inside what do I see? A rough brown coconut right in front of me If I look inside what do I see? Oh a yummy kind of drink that's what I see I'll put it in a pile over here. Ah, phone. Now, wait a minute. Must be under here somewhere. Here we are. Hello? Oh, Sally. Hello. Uh, yes, I think we have got a spare tin of white paint somewhere. I'll have to have a look for it, though. OK, I'll call you back. Bye. Spare tin of white paint. Try <laughs> painting the wall with tomato soup. <laughs> I used to have one of these when I was a baby. We still haven't found the white paint. I know. Why don't each one of us lift up a corner of the dust sheet? Good idea. Hello? Oh, hello, Sally. Yeah, OK, you found one on the shelf. All right, then, we'll stop looking. Right, bye. Sally says she's found another can of paint, so we're all right. <laughs> Help! That? Let me out! Bradley, come on. No, don't turn around that way. You're getting tired. Turn around the other way. Come on. Unwind yourself. 